the extract is about combinatorial biomarker approach uh, uh, for immune checkpoint therapy in metastatic bladder cancer, um, as well as uh, as a general strategy for different uh, tumor types. So historically, uh, immune checkpoint therapy biomarker uh, strategies have involved either tumor-specific uh, attributes such as uh, new antigen tumor uh, tumor mutation burden, or we have been focusing on uh, immune component like uh, interferon gamma signature, like gene expression profile, or PDL1 expression, both in the immune cells and the tumor cells. But uh, none of these markers have shown robustness or reproducible um, across different tumor types or in various tumor at various clinical trials. For example, PDL1 uh, was shown in this the different uh, blood cancer trials that patients with low PDL1 expression can also um, respond to immune checkpoint therapy. So with that thought in mind, and because this immune microenvironment is a very, very dynamic microenvironment, so we hypothesized that we would need to look at the biomarkers more in an integrated fashion, where we captured the tumor genomic attribute as well as uh, immune microenvironment. To do that, uh, I initially look at a uh, discovery cohort of 30 patients, that patients who were treated with nivolumab uh, in uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. So when I looked at it, I identified two novel biomarkers. One, genomic alterations in ERID1A, which is a chromatin remodeling complex to be positively associated with uh, clinical response. So additionally, we also looked at the microenvironment and there I identified that CXCL13, which is a chemokine that brings T cells and B cells into the microenvironment was also positively correlating with improved clinical outcome in immune checkpoint therapy, especially in blood cancer with anti-PD-1 therapy, so to speak. So next I took a reverse translational strategy. What that means is based on a clinical signal or correlation, you take it to the mouse model and confirms its relevance. I use CXCL13 knockout mice, and there I saw that CXCL13 knockout mice uh, which, are, which do not have CXCL13, do not respond to anti-PD-1 therapy as their wild type counterparts. And similarly, um, for ERID1A inactivating mutation, to mimic that, we made ERID1A knockdown cell lines. And there we saw that they show higher sensitivity to immune checkpoint therapy. So this reverse translational strategies um, confirmed our initial clinical observation. So now then we took this to biomarker and um, checked its clinical relevance into independent validation cohort. We used Checkmate 275, where we had 275 patients and publicly available data for uh, Invigor 210. And we checked the relevance of both ERID1A and CXCL13 in this two uh, confirmatory cohorts. And our initial findings were consistent. We saw both ERID1A and CXCL13 correlated with improved overall survival in patients with metastatic urothelial carcinoma receiving anti-PD-1 nivolumab or anti-PDL1 atezo in the uh, Invigo study. But what was important was that we noted that patients who have, have both of those biomarkers, like patients harboring ERID1A mutation plus high CXCL13 expression in the tumor tissue, have improved survivals, a significantly improved survival compared to either of the single biomarkers or in absence of both the biomarkers. As you could see from um, uh, in my... Uh, poster that patients with both the biomarker had a median overall survival of at least 17 to 19 months, whereas in absence of both the biomarkers, median overall survival was around five to six months. With presence of either of one biomarkers, we, saw, we did see an improving overall survival, but it was around 10 months. So 
having a combinatorial approach, it definitely improved the predictive capacity for uh, patient selection to immune checkpoint therapy. And based on this um, reverse translational and retrospective analysis, now we are conducting a prospective trial uh, where patients will be selected based on ARID1 mutation. They will receive nivolumab therapy, and we will do C assess CXCL13 gene expression and protein expression, and we will uh, stratify response based on CXCL13 expression level.